Hurricane Dorian is a monstrous storm that came and battered the northern Bahamas. Thousands of Bahamians in Abaco and Grand Bahama were affected as homes were flooded with water. The water in some homes was so high that it reached the ceiling. That's the water hitting my front, front room window, which is extremely high. Of course, I'm already completely flooded out. That's my kitchen window that water is hitting, and that has to be um, a minimum of about 20 feet off the ground. This estimated that about 13,000 homes in Abaco were destroyed. Also in Abaco, it was reported that an eight-year-old boy lost his life while trying to flee with his family for shelter. During the storm, some residents in low-lying areas were evacuated. Right now, I can tell you that the storm is still pounding Grand Bahama, and we learned that persons are still trapped in their roofs. Also, some shelters on that island had to be evacuated. Meteorologists say this is the second strongest storm on record and many residents say they haven't seen anything like this before. This is a nightmare. I live in Nassau and this morning we received heavy rain and wind from the outer bands of Hurricane Doreen. Some areas were severely flooded and the power went off this morning and right now some areas are still without electricity. This Category 5 storm has left the Bahamas with serious damages and it would cost millions of dollars to rebuild. So far, other countries in the region have vowed to help the nation with recovery efforts. Reporting from the Bahamas for the Gleaner, I'm DeAndre Williamson, a reporter at JCN News in Nassau.